All right, good morning. Some of you have been asking me a lot of questions. And uh, so, you know, I don't like to just post all the time on Facebook and it's hard to just keep texting everybody or doing that because I feel like you're asking the same questions over and over again. So what I, what I want to do is just try and hit on a few of the big ones, especially the guys that are, you know, kind of on the fence. Um, and then if, if you're actually in the program, just give me, you know, ask me a few questions. I have no problem answering them. Some of them I just can't think of at the time. I think of them later. Uh, and, and then a few of you, I just don't want to keep bothering you. Uh, but I, I do want to share this with you. Um, a lot of you have asked me about the fuelings. All right, what's a fueling? All right, the main thing a fueling is right here. There's a bunch of them right here. Boom. Look at that. All right, those are fuelings. Um, they can be they can be bars, you know, little bars like this. They can be my favorite is the pancakes. You can hack those. You put uh, three tablespoons of egg whites and two tablespoons of water. I'm sorry, three ounces of egg whites and then two tablespoons of water. Mix it together. Pour it. I do it right out of the shaker bottle into a waffle maker. It's the best thing ever. I make those every day. I'm off. Sometimes at work. Um, the other things that they have here we have you know some people have to have a cookie you know i like to have a cookie you, know, you put these in the little the trays make them in the microwave let them sit for a few minutes and they're actually pretty good very good um they, there are a few fuelings here and there some people like them some don't uh there are hacks out there if you let's say like the the uh, macaroni and cheese kim hates the macaroni and cheese i actually like it as long as i can soak the noodles before i eat it probably about an hour and then I turn around and put maybe a, a wedge of laughing cow cheese in there um, little things to have on on hand throughout this whole program is some some really good snacks pickle spears laughing cow cheese those are the things that you know are, are gonna help you quite a bit all right but enough about that let's answer some of the questions that I get from time to time big one do I make money if you do this? Yes. Guess what? If you do any program, somebody is going to make money somewhere. Is this a big pyramid scheme? No. It is not a big pyramid scheme. I'm not out here looking for everybody trying to get you on here so I can make more money. Matter of fact, when I was asked to be a coach, I didn't know you made more money. Didn't even, didn't even dawn on me. What, what made me decide to say yes to being a coach was the fact that I, I, I lost you know, 14 pounds in the first week. I lost 20 pounds in like the first four weeks and, and so on and so forth. And now I'm on week 12. I'm down 12. I'm, I'm down. I'm sorry. I'm down 40 pounds. I weigh less than I have the entire time I've been in the fire department since 2004. I weigh less than that. You know, even when I was helping with the academy in like 2011 and I was running all the time and I thought I was in really good shape, I weigh less than that. And I run better than I did then. I work out better than I did then. So by far, at 41 years old, I feel better than I have ever. Um, a few people have asked me, okay, so why is it so, it's so expensive? It's so expensive. Okay, well, we can look at this a couple different ways. Some of you are already heading down the road. You're the same age as I am. You're heading down the road where you're going to have to use medication or you're on medication. I'm sure that costs you some money. You know, if you end up having to go on diabetic medication, it's going to cost you some money. This way, you know, you go on here, you're eating anyway. You're, you're spending money anyway. You're just not thinking about it because... Going through the big, you know, through the Chick-fil-A uh, drive drive through or McDonald's drive through doesn't, it doesn't even register. But when I have to go online, click some stuff, and then send it to my house and get a box, that somehow registers as, oh my gosh, I'm spending money. Well, it averages out at about $14 a day. I challenge you to go on and find out what you're doing with your day-to-day day -day meals and see how much it costs. I would venture to say it's costing you more than $14 a day. Uh, other questions that I've had is, all right, well, busy schedule, am I gonna be able to do this? Yeah, 
It's a five in one. You're doing five stuff like this or making shakes with your shaker bottle, you know, doing stuff like that. You're doing five of those a day and then you're doing one lean and green. Or you can split up your lean and green and have it between lunch and, and dinner, you know, be, between the two, but usually I just do the one. Lean and green usually is a um, some type of salad, whatever. I've gotten very creative with that, which is something I've never been with salads, but you know, they're, they're, I look forward to it. Um, and then you're gonna have a lean protein, whether it's uh, fish, chicken, beef, um, you know, and, and there's a whole bunch of different things out there. If you type in, um, you know, the different types of salads on this program, uh, the Big Mac salad is my favorite. That is that is by far one of the best salads I've had ever, and I love that thing. Um, but, you know, more on that, and like I said, I can send you links to different things to so you can work on those. Uh, the, other th the other part of it is people have asked me, can I drink on this? It's not recommended. On the five-in-one program, the first three, four weeks, you know, that's when you're going to lose, uh, you know, probably the most you can, um, because your body's going to go, you know, it's going to, it's going to get into that fat burning, uh, mode. It's going to be more efficient. And as long as you're sticking to that five in one program, like it's meant to d happen, you know, you're, you're going to lose weight pretty quick and you're going to see results. And ultimately that's what we're trying to do is see results. I've done every program out there. I've done P90X, P90X2, I've done Hip Hop Abs, I have done uh, Insanity. Um, my latest one that I bought was the Beast Workout. I did that for a while. I actually did it for 90 days. Didn't see as much result as I had right here. Um, we have the 21 Day Fix. You know, if it was a Beach Body product, I probably have it. Um, I've done that. I have gone online, watched numerous YouTube videos and did different things. This by far has been the best um, because it's one, it's not only am I eating right, but it's teaching me to eat right. It's teaching me the long goal, which is that's what we're going for, the long goal. We're not going for can I just uh, do this for a couple weeks, lose enough weight for this wedding, and then go back to doing what I'm doing. No, what we're doing here is we're trying to get on this program, lose enough weight, and then we're going to go ahead and um, transition out of the 5-in-1 once you get to the weight you want to be at, and you're going to transition to a healthier lifestyle. Am I stuck buying this stuff the rest of my life? No. You're not even stuck buying it right now. You know, you can, you know, you can look up the different programs or different salads and stuff like that, and you can go on it right now doing a doing three of them you just won't have the you won't have the packets and stuff to do your three and three which is the program that you're you're gonna try and get to so if that's what you wanted to do go ahead you're not gonna have as much um, weight loss like you would on the five one program which is generally where people um, stumble you know anytime they start anything whether it's the New Year's resolution or they just decide to do something generally where they stumble is they they go and they don't see enough fast enough and they get impatient and then the next thing you know they're right back into the same cycle you know um i've had people ask me uh, like oh well you know so i can never have chicken wings i can never do this no i'm not saying that i'm saying that you're going to go on the five and one you want to go on the five and one so you can lose and get to that that um weight that you desire to be at whether it's 20 pounds lighter 30 pounds lighter or 50 pounds lighter you're going to get to that program then when you get to that that there you're going to transition out and then everything's in moderation but let's face it we cannot eat chicken wings every day what gets us in trouble is we have chicken wings on sunday watching the football game we buy subway on monday on the way home because hey the kids are hungry and, and, and i don't have time to make anything that's where it gets us in trouble. And then before we know it, we've been doing this for two or three months and we've gained 15, 20 pounds, not even thought about it. And we wake up in the morning, our back hurts, our um, knees hurt, our feet hurt, everything hurts. And we just go, well, that's the way it is. I'm supposed to feel this way because I'm getting old. You don't have to. Um, I'm probably missing a few other questions that people have asked me, but those are the main ones at this point. It's the, you know, how much it costs, um, 
uh, the the drinking uh, if you want to drink on it um, yes you can drink on it but it's it's not recommended that if you go out there and type in the different um, programs or if you type in low calorie options for drinking it will tell you to drink clear alcohol um, but you know that any little thing like that will knock you off the program just a little bit you can jump back on um, it's not recommended to jump back on and off and on and off but if it happens it happens and you know people stumble you know we're all human you're gonna go to a birthday you're gonna go to some function and guess what it's gonna something's gonna be staring you in the face and you're probably what you're gonna think is you're gonna mess up well guess what if it happens it happens don't get upset just get back on get back on you know get back on the next day it's not a big deal finish out that day do you do the rest of your five and one um that's the big key too that's what i've seen is as long as i'm doing those five and ones things are still in a positive you know a positive motion uh, as long as i keep doing the five and ones uh well i didn't want to make this too long um I'm sure I've got more things to answer and I'll probably do another video. It's just right now I wanted to get this back out to you guys so you so you could uh, think about it some more. And basically what I'm trying to do is I want you to feel as good as I do right now. And those of you that have seen me and known me for quite a while, you know that I was pretty big. I was 260 pounds. I am now down to 200 and, uh, uh, 212 pounds. I feel better than I ever have. Um, and I'm just trying to hope, I'm hoping that you can get here too. Uh, until the next video, uh, you know, I want you to think about some stuff. Shoot me some emails, shoot me some text, uh, whatever it is, and, and we'll try and work it out together. Uh, and in, in closing, you know, get ready to start that journey. Talk to you later.